Hello friends, I welcome you all to GIBL technical series. In this session, we will learn about very useful topic of SQL Server, the user defined functions. Here, we will understand about what exactly the user defined functions are. Why do we use them? Different types of user defined functions and finally, how to create and call user defined function with some examples. Before we start with the topic, I would like to give some information about me and GIPO. I am Priya Desai and I am working as a software engineer with GIPO. GIPL is a government organization which provides IT and IT analog services to different government organizations. We provide informative videos about government software and latest technology tutorials. So please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get latest updates and informative videos. So let's drive into the topic now. Now, first of all, what is user defined function? User defined functions is a programming construct that accepts parameters, does actions and returns the result of that action as a value. The return value can either be a single scalar value or a result set. The user defined functions are also called as UDFs. UDFs are very powerful too. You should use them when you will have a calculation you will repeat throughout your database. For example, calculating tax on different products based on predefined rules which may change over time is a good fit for the function. UDFs can be used in scripts, store procedures, triggers and other UDF within the database. Why do we use user defined functions? First, modular. UDF support modular programming. Once you create a UDF and store it in a database, then you can call it any number of times. You can modify the UDF independent of the source code. Second reason is reusable. UDFs can be reused from multiple locations and also reusing them for repeated executions. Third reason is cleaner queries. The main idea behind object is to have them store in the database and avoid writing the same code over and over again so it's leading to less code and cleaner code. Types of user defined functions. There are three types of user defined functions. First, scalar functions. Second, inline table valued functions. Third, multi statement table valued function. First, we will see scalar functions. Basically, scalar returns one value and accepts zero or more parameters. Now remember, scalar function can return any scalar type. We have except text and text image, cursor and timestamp. Scalar function can be used in where close of the SQL square. Now finally remember, your function should return data type which you specified in the function. Alright, now let's see how to create a user defined function. Let's take one example that compute the age of the person. Now look at this, I have already written the code here just to save some time in typing. To create a function, First write create function, function name. To compute the age, we obviously require the date of birth of the person. So here, we need to pass date of birth as a parameter with the type date. And it's going to return an integer back. Remember, your function should return data type which you specified here. I have calculated the age of the person in the body part between begin and end block. And finally, should have a return statement. Here I have written h. Now when we execute this, what happens? This function will create in the employee database. Let's execute. Command completed successfully. Go to employee database. Programmability folder. Expand it. Go to functions. And this is a scalar function. And why it's scalar function? Because it's return a single value. And expand scalar value function. Refresh this and expand. You should see the calculate age function that we have just created. This function is present in the employee database. Now, to call this function, select function name. Here I have just passed date of birth as a parameter. Now execute this, we will get the age of the person. 
This is how we can create and call a scalar function. Now let's move to the second type that is inline table valued function. An inline table valued function returns a table. It contains a single statement that must be a select statement. Now let's take one example for better understanding. Look at this. I have created an employee table which is got ID, name, date of birth, gender and department ID columns. Now I want to write a function that returns an employee by gender. For example, in function, if I pass parameter at gender as female, I want only the female employee in return along with the same line. If I pass gender as a male, then I want only a male employee need to be in return. To do that, let's create one function statement. If you look at the implementation of the function, it's very simple to understand. Create function, function name. I have named this function fn underscore employees by gender. And you look at this function, obviously needs a parameter at gender of type n brackets whose length is 10. And this function will return a table. If you remember, where we talk about scalar user defined function, scalar function returns a scalar data type, for example, maybe a n varchar or an integer or n date type. But we want this function now to return a list of employee by gender. So obviously we want this function to return a table. So we are specifying table as the return type from this function using this return keyword. And then we are using an else keyword. Look at this. For inline table valued function, we are not using the begin and end block. And immediately after as keyword, you specify the return statement. And within the bracket, you specify your select statement. So we want here ID, name, date of birth, gender, department ID columns. So specify them into your select list from employee table where gender is equal to add gender parameter whatever user going to pass in this parameter result will be displayed and we are enclosing this entire select statement in brackets even if you don't indicate brackets you won't get an error but it is more readable now now let's execute this function now where this function was created. So here we execute this query into employee database. So once I expand employee database and goes to the programmability folder, expand, go to the function, expand. This is the table valued function. Refresh this. And table valued function got stored here. You see the function we have just created, which is employee by gender. Okay, now let's see how to call this function. We use the syntax select star from function name and pass the parameter. Here I have passed female as a parameter. Remember, this function returns a table. Here, as a result, we only get the female employee's details back. Let's execute. Now, let's move to the third and the last type, which is multi-statement table valued function. A multi-statement table valued functions are very much similar to the inline table valued function with very few differences between them. The statements are used to insert rows in the temporary table. The table is written in the result set. Okay, now let's quickly create this function and see how to call them. So here I have already one table that an employee table and to create multi statement function, create function function name. Here I have created fn underscore get employees function. I am returning add table variable here. Add table is a name of the variable 
and its data type is a table. If you look at the table variable which has got a structure, ID, name, date of birth with a data type, integer and where care and date. That one of the primary difference between multi and inline statement function is in inline you don't need to specify the structure of the table where in multi statement you need to specify the structure of the table. Here in this example you are inserting data into the table variable. What do you want to insert in this table variable? So I want to insert id name and date of birth columns from the employee data. Look at this select statement. It basically select the data id, name and date of birth from the employee table. Okay. That's what we are exactly seeing here. And finally, you are seeing return. So when this function encountered this return keyword, what's going to happen? This function will return this table. So whatever you have inserted into this table variable gets returned to the caller. Whoever calls your function, he or she will get the data that present into the table. So now we execute this function. Let's execute. This function will create it into the selected database employees, expand it and programmability folder, expand it in function folder expand it and in table value function refresh this if you can't see your function and here you will see appen get employees that we have just created and to call this function here is the syntax select star from function name appen get employees execute If I press F5, I get the result back as expected, ID, name and date of birth. So friends, that's it for now. Please share your views and doubts in comment section below. We shall be glad to acknowledge them. So hope this information is very helpful to you. For any IT and IT enable services, you can contact GITL. Details are shown on the screen. If you like our video, Please click the like button and share with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe and take very good care of yourself. Thank you.